freedom you loved it last time so we're gonna do it again this is the three channel spotlight what we're gonna do is we're going to go into the freedom comments and we are going to choose three random channels that we are going to not only spotlight but also give advice to on how they can change in order to get more views more watch time uh, more traffic so on and so forth so let's go ahead and jump to the desktop and we'll take a look at that now one of the concerns that was raised in the last video is what if someone doesn't want to be reviewed? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the last 3x video that we did where we featured three channels and I am going to choose people who said review me or something similar. Alright so here we are in the comments of that very video and I've already found here's one uh, Christo City says that uh, he would love to get feedback on his channel so let's do that if you would like to check out his channel please check out the description down below for a link to it all right first thing that we're going to do i'm not going to play the uh video here because uh, i don't know what it contains there could be copyright issues which would render this entire segment invalid very first thing that anyone sees when they go to your channel is your channel trailer and usually it's very obvious when a channel trailer isn't designed to be a channel trailer and so Christosity what I would tell you to do is to make sure you have a dedicated channel trailer the video that you've got behind me is very entertaining very edgy it may gain you subscribers but not as much as one designed to sell yourself as a performer remember there are a lot of little ways you can get people to your channel but once you have them here this is a place where you would want to seal the deal just food for thought also as far as your uh, your link here you've got body image as the text now that's a good thing but as a channel trailer you don't usually get a lot of off-color text here on YouTube I would tell you to use that to your advantage uh, use it as a subscribe today or join the so-and-so army uh, or whatever the case may be with your particular channel that blue text is going to be really useful if you use it the right way also I love the fact that you've got your subscribe link here however you can't see most of it I would ask that you use Google short links it allows you to track how many people are clicking versus how many new subscribers you're getting that way you know whether people are subscribing and then unsubscribing through your videos or whatever the case is your thumbnails are all very high contrast and high quality the only gripe I really have about your thumbnails is the fact that there's no common cohesive nature to them um, there are a few themes that I see on most of them but try to look at something that you can use to bind them all together so that if I see a video of yours from six eight months ago that pops up just randomly on YouTube I know hey there's that funny guy that I liked before this can be as little as maybe uh, your face with you being a vlogger your face in the lower right hand corner or uh, or somewhere else on the thumbnail is something that I would encourage you to put because there's a one-on-one -on -one relationship that most gamers don't have after watching a number of your videos I am noticing a theme here that kind of scares me you use a lot of music most of which I know to be royalty free because I've been on YouTube for some time and I know what is and is not allowed and I recognize a lot of tracks however because you don't cite your music use someone else could mistake it for one of their own tracks or someone could flag it just because always cite your music use it will save your butt it will also show YouTube or Google that you have a history of following the rules should something come up later making a good impression to Google and YouTube and giving them a reason to trust you can sometimes mean the difference between getting what you're after and not so 
put some thought into that. Here in another one of your videos, I also noticed that you linked to a previous video in your description. Great job. I'm sure lots of people have clicked through to it. But here's the problem. You link to the video itself. However, if you would link to the playlist, this can help increase your watch time and also give people an entire list of other videos of yours that they can click on should they get bored or if they're about to leave anyway. This, like I said before, can help your watch time. It can also turn a one-time visitor into a fan that comes back time after time. All right, so I have found channel number two randomly selected just because he asked to be reviewed in the comments of this previous video that we did. All right, so we click through. Actually, let's go back for just a second. Let's go ahead and mouse over, see what we find. Okay, as far as the channel banner versus the avatar, it actually works. Uh, I would prefer it be themed a little bit better. However, the color scheme's the same and it does make sense. As far as the text, um, it, it could be a little bit better. Uh, and by that, I mean, it could give me more reasons to continue going through. And with him being a gaming YouTuber, it's really tempting to say things like, I play Call of Duty and I play Roblox and I play Minecraft. These are great things to share, but these are things that you might want to actually share below those first five lines. What you really want to share here is reasons to click through. Who you are as a human being, what you enjoy, what you talk about, common themes, uh, how often you interact with your fans, things that make people feel like part of the community. On your channel page, we see a huge lack of everything. We see that you liked a video. That's all we have. Of course, we can hit load more, but to be honest with you, most people aren't gonna take that step. So let's go ahead and hit load more. Uh, we see that you uploaded and liked a lot of things. This is pretty much just your YouTube feed. There's no channel trailer. There's no playlists that you're trying to share or get out there. There is absolutely nothing that is telling me who you are, what you do, or really inviting me in any way into your world. I do see a branding issue. Here we see your banner. You are branded as Roblox Gaming Commentary and more. However, your channel name is Frank Rich. This is something you might want to look at. How do you want to brand yourself? Google Plus will now allow you to brand yourself as Roblox Gaming Commentary and more, or however you want to do that. Just also do keep in mind, branding yourself that way might give you legal trouble because you're not Roblox. Just put a little bit of thought into that and how you want to be known online. Your thumbnails aren't horrible. However, there is definitely room for improvement. I see a lot of high contrast images, which means that the text pops and what you want to come out comes out. However, there's absolutely no theming outside of a few recurring images, and it just kind of looks like a jumbled mess. If I see one of these at the end of someone else's video or even at the end of your own video, there's nothing telling me it's yours. There's also not a recurring theme so that I can check out another similar series that you've done. If I'm checking out your Roblox series, I may have seen your Roblox thumbnail, but I would have no idea what your other thumbnails look like. Try to come up with some kind of a template or some kind of a way that people will be able to identify these just right off the bat. I noticed while watching a couple of videos that there's a recurring theme here as well. The recurring theme is when there's no in-game music, you have no music behind you, which can lead to problems because when you have those moments where you're not quite sure what you're going to say or you're trying to live commentate but there's not a whole lot going on, that gives the viewer an opportunity to click away from your videos. This isn't what you want them to do. So do try to put a little bit of soft music behind you to keep their brains entertained. Human beings are still very primitive creatures. We just won't admit it most of the time. All right, and now we're to our third channel. Third channel I've found is The Game Face. 
Okay, so before we mouse over, um, the very first thing I notice is the profile picture for this channel is most likely not belonging to that channel. Which means if you're using someone else's content, it's not cool. Don't ever do that. Create an image or find someone to create an image that you own the rights to. So we're gonna go ahead, mouse over, and we will see, oh, very nice banner, very nice. Uh, what is this? Yo, if you donate five pounds or more, you will view all of your vids and like all of your vids. And I will make, plus I'll make you a channel art. Don't do this. It makes you sound desperate. It makes you sound cheesy. I would definitely replace this with an actual reason to click through, an actual reason to engage. Let's go ahead, click on through, and all right. So, some very similar advice to what I've given out before. We need a channel trailer. You've got a lot of channels you could be featuring, but you're not. Any friends, anyone that you've co uh, collaborated with here at Freedom, anyone you like or respect, I'm not saying much, you know, school channel. Um, definitely use that space. Also, feature some playlists. Remember, playlists are excellent for watch time. You wanna get people in those playlists, if at all possible. So if you're not featuring them, if you're not giving people a reason to click through, you're, you're shooting yourself in the foot. All right, first thing I am noticing is custom thumbnails. I'm not sure if half of these are custom thumbnails. I'm really not sure if you have the rights to most of these images. And many of which are not even edited. Um... You've got a major thumbnail problem here. You're gonna want to work something up with images that you own the rights to, and you're going to want to make sure that you don't get taken offline off of something as silly as a thumbnail. Here we are on an empty page. Normally, behind me, you would see where someone put their playlists. Now, since you're a gaming YouTuber, this playlist section would probably be the different games that you play or the different types of games or genres that you cover. However, it's empty. You're not making use of playlists. So you're probably losing anywhere between half a minute to three minutes worth of watch time depending on how you utilize them. And that watch time is what Google and YouTube use to further promote your videos. So if you don't get that watch time up, they're not going to give you any sort of free promotion. And if they don't give you any sort of pr free promotion, well then growing's going to be a lot harder. Your discussion page is completely empty. Never be scared to direct people to this page. Now, don't necessarily ask directly. Don't say, hey, can you go make a comment? However, if you say you have a community question, one that uh, deals with the entire channel, like, um, do you guys like my banner? Go check that out and let me know in the discussion tab. Something along those lines. Filling this with text makes first time viewers feel like there's an active community that's actively involved in the channel and it also helps start other conversations. It helps your fans connect and come together. And I mean, who knows? It could lead to all kinds of things, none of which are bad. So Freedom, what do you think about this advice? Let me know, should I continue this series? As you might be able to see by the clock in the corner, it's 5 a.m. and I can't sleep. So that's when I try to do these things. If you have any other questions, comments, matters of concern, let me know in the comment section down below. Till next time, I'm Anthony with Freedom. Like, subscribe, comments, please. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Till next time, guys, you've been watching. Click the first video for a fireside chat with George where he shares our future and how we grew from $20,000 to $120,000 in just one month.
and click the second video to see how to monetize all of your videos with just a few clicks to enable all ad formats and monetize in all countries. Click the third video to be taken to a playlist of Where is George entries. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. So, there I am. I'm just a gamer putting up gaming footage. Next thing I know, I own a YouTube network. Next thing I know, now I work for an MCN. Go figure. It's kind of crazy. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, believe it or not, I believe in you.